And state lawmakers set to vote this afternoon on some key bills that would impact many Rhode Islanders moving forward. Kate Walsh joins us live with what that would mean for people making minimum wage. Well, the House of Representatives will vote on two bills concerning the minimum wage. The first proposes to gradually increase it each year starting next year until reaching $15 per hour in 2025. The other would require employers to pay workers with disabilities minimum wage at the least, which isn't the case right now, according to the bill. And the House of Representatives will also take up a bill that would make permanent the Rhode Island Promise Program. That allows Rhode Islanders to go to two years of community college without paying tuition. It's something that just just yesterday, during her visit to the Ocean State, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo mentioned as a success story, saying the Biden administration was looking at implementing that in other states, too, as part of the jobs plan. Now, the House will also take up two other bills, one preventing insurance companies from charging men and women different rates due to gender, and another that would eventually boost consumer education in public high schools. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.